Okay, what we're selling here today is uh, the uh, Panasonic Lumix LX3 camera. Uh, it is actually a sister camera, exactly the same as the Leica Deluxe 4. I think the Leica just have a slight software tweak in it, uh, something to do with the JPEG output. Uh, obviously has the Leica badge on it and uh, also usually comes with Photoshop Elements software but other than that they're the same camera so uh, let's take a look as you'll see it, uh, we've got this case for it which is like a soft leather look material I don't think it's leather I'm not exactly sure so I'm not going to say it is uh, it's got a nice protective lining inside, sort of a, a sort of soft leather type material with a velvety sort of texture to it to protect the camera when it's inside. Now here's the camera itself. Let's bring this light over a bit, see if we can shed a little light on the proceedings. Uh, as you can see, one improvement that they've made is they've got a uh, carrying strap loop each side. They only used to have them on uh, one side. But this is much better as it means you can, uh, as I've got it now, you've got the, uh, the Lumix neck strap. You can put it round your neck and hold it in the uh, classic... Uh, round the neck camera position so that it's ready to use at all times and it's safely attached uh, attached to your neck. Let's have a look at the front of the camera. Uh, I don't know if you can see there are some slight little scratches to the body. The lens is perfect but uh, if you could just uh, just see where my thumb is now there's small little it's tiny little like a little scratch or chip there there's a, a very tiny mark just there I haven't got macro on this video so it's difficult to to show it uh, a tiny tiny mark there but uh, other than those, it is in good condition. Let's try and uh, try and get a good angle of the light. There you can see those little marks on the right hand side. If I flip it over, you can see them on the other side too. But they are very cosmetic. Uh, I've got finger marks on the uh, rear screen. It's difficult to uh, difficult to handle it without getting finger marks. So I'll just uh, just give that a slight dust there. I'll try and put the light on it at an angle so you can see there's a there's a few uh, a few little marks but uh, nothing to uh, take away the clarity or anything like that if I uh, flip it back over now we can have a look at the lens lens is perfect if we can get a good look at that uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to put some macro photos up because I've got a Ricoh GX100 in my cupboard and uh, I'll take some macro photos of the camera so you can see it the lens is in excellent condition I'll flip it back over again turn it on move this there uh, 
there's the display going through some pictures I took these pictures this afternoon they don't show up very well on this video camera but uh, I've took them I'm going to upload them to a Flickr account so you can see them uh, let's show you the menu you've got various uh, settings you can do put it into uh, camera mode Let's slip it into macro and focus on this box uh, too near ah oh, it's in manual that's why right see if we go uh, there's the camera working you can get up quite or too near then Yeah, it's very good. Uh, anyway, that's the camera. As I said, I'll put some uh, macro shots on Flickr so you can uh, expect it, inspect it closely. Uh, as you can see, I've got the box with it. Uh, open that. I've got uh, a very good, a very good manual there. I always my favourite part of getting a new acquisition is reading through a good paper manual is it's a lot better than having to look through a PDF but uh, the Panasonic ones very well produced uh, got a manual for the software by the look of it uh, and then various other additives to the manual stuff like that all the usual paperwork you get the digital camera here's the software disk I think you've got uh, you've got Oxsoft panorama maker on there something called media impression silky pix is worth uh, silky pix is worth a shock so I think that's a good raw editor for uh, for the camera so we've got those anyway here's all the other gubbins in the box uh, don't worry it's going to be packed uh, a lot neater than this uh, here we've got the uh, USB cable which fits in the side allows you to, uh, to transfer the pictures to the computer uh, got the power lead for the charger we've got the charger itself uh, got audio and video cables and as a little extra I've got not one but two two uh, adapter tubes superb as you can see I've even left a filter on one so uh, what you can do let me just get the camera back there and unscrew this part of the camera like that and you can fit the adapter tube that screws on like so and then your lens is lovely and protected I mean it makes the camera obviously a bit wider now so it depends what you put more value on I mean I personally go for having one of these on and of course with a filter on, on as well it gives you lens extra protection so I'm including this UV filter and the adapter tube and also there's another adapter tube in there so uh, I mean this means you can attach all sorts of things you could attach uh, infrared filters to do infrared photography you could attach polarizing filter uh, any other accessories that attach to a filter thread also you can attach uh, various wide angle adapters you could get nice fisheye adapters for these uh, 